Ramos looking eye to eye to Uka, signaling the play. Torres there, sneaking up from behind Ramos. That's a good combination attack. Another deadlock. Here at seven. This is Jason Ramos. The Ocampo goes to the strong side. Avila, does he get it? Yes, that's inside. That's inside. It's headed to a break. FEU up by one here in the fourth set, eight to seven. Another Tiger fan. Watching this and supporting their men's volleyball team. Of course, later on, we will have game one of the women's volleyball finals between defending champion UST Tigresses taking on the De La Salle University Lady Spikers. There are the La Salle fans in green also awaiting the second matchup. But right now, an exciting first matchup in game one of the men's volleyball finals between FEU and UST. UST going for a grand slam. This is the first step, trying to win game number one. Torres. Oh, wait a minute. They'll come JP pointing Torres. to the line, the center line. JP Torres did cross the line. Labrador very calm, collected here. Not looking rattled despite his team being down, but as I say that, another <laughs> service error. Wow. JR Labrador, those are just mental mistakes at this stage of the match. Sometimes it's the team that blinks that will go down. The team that can't take care of the little things. Good play there from Avila to hit it off the block. And now he will serve. Talking about our Avila. Energy player here for FEU. Nice save. A quick to the rookie, Rico. Ooh! The rookie <laughs> is making an impact. Look at that single block that against Don Kim. Against a taller Tonkin, no less. Uh -huh. Romnik Rico. Well, fresh legs for Rico, that's for sure. Coming in for Ilano. Making a good impact here, Deloy Ras. Oh, uh, Pelotor. Unhappy with that one. Because he felt that that ball was going straight to the outside. Let's watch the trajectory again, yes? I believe so, because Dolores even had to hop. Oh, you know, Get off the floor to pick that one up. Setter Petrus de Ocampo. Dug up well by Jason Ramos. Ooh. Emil. Livid on the sidelines. A lifting violation was called on Rico after that coverage. Coach Emil does not want to send this one into a fifth and deciding set. He wants to finish it right here. Pecanya. Well, single block over to Pecanya. Not good enough. See the airtime of James Pecanya, the team captain of UST. Rookie Nick. Rico, number 18, coming in for Harvey Ilano after Harvey injuring himself here at the set. And another point here for USD coming back. Jason Ramos coming alive. <laughs> 11 serving 12. USD up two sets to one. Petrus de Ocampo, a set with one knee to the ground. Depante now, through the block, 
kept alive by FEU. Molate, it is off the hands in a point for the guys in green. Center spiker, middle hitter for the green and the gold. Son Ramos popping it up. Ooh. Depate. Too strong on that one. You trying to distance themselves from UST. Coach Emil standing up, looking intently. Uka goes to Pecanya. Can't get through. Uka now chooses a different option. And it was the right option. That's right. Pecanya from the back. Now Pecanya will serve here. Jean Pecanya, second year player for UST. De Ocampo. Goes to Labrador, Brioso, keeping it alive once again to JR. He was asking for it. After that first block shot, he talked to uh, Del Campo and said, I want it back. The time is now for JR Labrador to come alive and try to help his team yes. pull away to force a fifth and deciding set here in game one of the men's volleyball finals of your UAAP. They go to Avila, who just tries to dump it over. Wait a minute. Oh, oh there's a violation. De La Calzada was you know, too eager to hit that free ball because no one was right in front of him. There you go, clearly. <laughs> and all fingers are pointing at it. <laughs> Caught in the act was Carl De La Calzada. The Ocampo goes to Labrador. Rico able to keep that one alive. Running set to Avila, pounding it off the single block of USD. Torres through the double block. But a good dig there by Molate. Uka goes back to JP. And that one is too wide, but the referees are looking at each other and they award the point to FEU. On that replay, it didn't look like there was a touch. Ball was wide. So we go into a break with FEU up by 3, 16 to 13. Fans of Chuck Cruz, team captain of the De La Salle University Lady Spikers. A lot of support for La Salle and their opponents, yep. the defending champions, the USD Tigresses. That is going to be a great series, a battle between the past two champions in the women's division of your UAAP, USD, the defending champion. La Salle, the champion two years prior to this uh, season, 73. Right now, UST, the three-time defending champions here in the men's finals as Avila with a smart move. Great angled hit there. Angled dump, rather. Oh, tough, tough hit from Avila. That was a great play right there. Torres. De Calzada now. Greatly dug up there by Toloy Ras. JP Torres attacking Molate. Molate is able to handle it. Avila. Oh! oh! <laughs> He's still trying to pick it up. That was a sorry play for FPU. Lucky break though for your steam. Let's so watch it once again. It was on its way out. <laughs> Did it hit the foot or the hand of Molate? I, I don't know. Well, Avila and Avila were both there trying to keep that one alive. But we resume play. Ooh! Labrador with an error allowing USD to come back and they are to within one. 
JP Torres to serve. USD fans on their feet. Good play from Tonkin hitting it off of the block. Of course, an easy target is Okang, who's a much shorter player than Rico. Remember, Avila is an excellent server. Pecanya digging that one up. De Pante. Labrador clapping after successfully stopping that ball. Oh, and wow! The veteran, Nestor Mulade, giving his team a three point advantage. Let's listen in on UST's huddle. Mistresses! Dito papalo, nakapuesto, ay mong bumlak. <coughs> Ito kasama mo. Tatlo lang yan. Coach Emil Lontok demanding the center girl Ukang to help. 